Hello, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, I wanted to get on here today and just uh, relay a, a quick message that the Lord kind of put really heavy on my heart. And, you know, um, the Lord doesn't see uh, individuals. He doesn't see a man and a woman as we see. Like, uh, we look at the outside appearance. We look at, you know, how a person is dressed. We look at all those things. We look at, you know, status quo and, and, and all those things which we shouldn't judge anybody by. We should judge them by the fruit that they're producing. And the Lord looks inside of the heart, and he looks at the heart. That's where he looks. That's why David was a man after God's own heart. He, he had a beautiful heart inside of him. He had a servant heart inside of him. Uh, and he knew that David would produce much fruit. And the, the message that the Lord really put heavy on my heart is, um, is for me to spread the importance of us being uh, how God looks at us. And that's God looks at us as trees that bear fruit. And the trees that bear fruit, God prunes, uh, and then they produce more fruit. You know, people pick off of their branches, and the fruit that a tree is producing is never for that tree. It's for others. Like So people can come to you and be filled, and, and you can pray and bless, and you can be a blessing in people's lives, and you can be an impact and just a light in, in darkness, and that you could be a tree that produces good fruit. And like it says in Mark 8, there was a time where Jesus was healing a blind man, and he uh, he spit on his hands and he and he touched his eyes and he said and look up and, and tell me what you see and he said I see men walking around like trees and then he he got him to close his eyes again put his hands on his eyes again and then he looked up and then he saw all men clearly but I believe that's a very important text that some people kind of overlook because I believe what what he was shown is how the Lord looks at us he looks at us as trees that produce fruit. And if, uh, if a tree isn't producing good fruit, it's producing bad fruit. And if it's producing bad fruit, then it's cut down and mowed and then put into the fire. It's, it's going to be destroyed. But if a tree is producing good fruit, then God will let that fruit be picked from the, the tree of whom this fruit is growing from. And then he'll prune him and he could produce more fruit. But that fruit's never for the tree, man. It, it's for other people to come and pick from your branches. So uh, I just wanted to, uh, you know, encourage you guys to be a, a tree that's producing good fruit, man. Love, joy, peace, grace, like... Just, just as your Father showed you mercy and forgiveness, forgive others that have wronged you. Just as your Father showed you grace for the things that you have done, give other people grace for the things that they have done to you. Like, you know, it's... um. I know that unforgiveness stops a lot of people um, from growing, you know, spiritually in their walk and and um, listening to false tongues. And there is a lot of false out here, guys. There is a ton of, of false prophets, um, you know, saying like just all kinds of crazy stuff, man, like wealth transfers and the Lord wants to re rebirth the United States. I'm like, no, he doesn't, man. Like this, this nation is wicked and it will be punished and and its punishment is just because we serve a just and a loving god he's the god of love he, like he's he's love like that god is love but he is a righteous judge and he will judge this nation he will judge the people that aren't producing fruit like if you have been called and then you turn away from that calling you turn away and you, like let's say you've been filled with the holy ghost and you've been called out of darkness you've been shown the things of the spirit and you've been shown the things of god and then you turn and you go back to those weak and beggarly elements and you go back into the world you go out to and just completely turn from what he's shown you there is a strict judgment coming upon you so i just urge people to be a tree that produces good fruit, guys. And, and like the Bible says, like Jesus told us, a no good tree can produce bad fruit, nor can an evil tree produce good fruit. And that's how you judge a man or a woman of the fruit that they're producing. This person in my life, when I see them, are they producing good fruit? Like, is there, are, are lives being impacted by these individuals? Or, you know, are true transformations, are godly transformations happening in this person's life from this shepherd? From this shepherd that's been called over these sheep, are, are these, are these, children growing in the Lord? Or are they staying complacent and they're never, they're never, um, they're never moving higher. And it, he just put it so heavy on my heart, man, that 
You know, we have to, in, in this time, guys, we have to have discernment. We have to have discernment. And I'm never going to get on here and call people out. Man, that's just, that's not my style and it's not what a Christian should do. Um, but there is a lot of fake. There, there's a lot of fake. There's a lot of false. And your spirit, the Holy Spirit, will lead you into all truth. And he's your comforter. He's your guide. And you should know by the fruit that these people are producing. So if you're looking up to somebody and they send you see the fruit that they're producing is, is not good, then you should run. You should cut tail and run away from that individual. And just surround yourself with, with good trees, guys. Just surround yourself with a, a forest of trees that are producing fruit and that you can pick from one another and that you can lift each other up in dark times, that you could be a light in the darkness to somebody that's in need, guys, and that you can... You can do what the Lord has called you to do. And iron. the Bible says that iron sharpens iron. So it's important, guys, for us to fellowship with one another. It's important, guys, for us to pray with one another. It's important, guys, if we receive a, a word from the Lord, to share it with one another, to encourage, guys, to encourage and to lift up, and to warn, to warn of the dangers and the pitfalls and the traps and the snares that the devil lays for all of our feet. And there's just so much just evil going on in the world, guys. And... Um, you know, I, I don't know if anybody saw the, the, the new bill that was being pushed through by, by Pope Francis and, uh, saying that, uh, all gods are the same God and that is hogwash. That is not true. There's only one way and that's through Jesus Christ. And, you know, it's, it's here guys. Like we will have a one world religion. We will have a one world system. We will have a one world currency. We will have all of the things that the Bible prophesied about thousands of years ago is coming to pass. And it's coming like a freight train. So, I just pray that you guys have discernment to be able to discern true and false. And not just to believe anything that somebody tells you, but your absolute word and what you go to is the word of God. And see if it lines up with the word of God, man. Um... To surround yourself with good people, guys. It's it's important. Like oil and water are never gonna mix. Like if if somebody is around you and and it's toxic, and you know that that, that there being a tree that's producing just toxic fruit, that fruit that you're not going to eat, then separate yourself from that individual. Pray for them. Pray for them, man. Lift them up in prayer. But um, just it's so important to surround yourself with with fellow believers. It's so important to surround yourself with trees that are producing good fruit. And it's so important for you to be producing good fruit. And the way that we're going to do that, guys, is being close to Jesus because he's our source. Um, he is the vine and we are the branches. And we, if we abide in him, all things are possible. But without him, nothing's possible. You can do nothing without him. You have no power. You have no strength without the Holy Spirit. So guys, I just pray that um, that this touches your hearts. I, I pray that maybe it uh, it puts some things in perspective. Maybe there's some people that you know that the Lord has kind of been all right. I need to uh, I need to separate myself from this individual. But maybe it's maybe it's a relationship that's not really working, and and you're trying so hard because you think that that person will change. But the most important thing is if if that person knows Jesus, and if you're a believer in Jesus Christ, and you're and you're with an with an unbeliever, man. It, it's hard, and, and especially being in ungodly relationships, guys. Like it's it's time to wake up and not be naive about these things. Like the, the Bible is very, 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 very clear, and, and it needs to be done through marriage. And um, not everybody is able to receive that, man. But it's the truth. And well, you, you can't just be in ungodly relationships, and you, you you can't do those things, guys, and expect to for the gates of heaven to open up and just welcome you in. That's just not how this works. Um, so I don't say anything to discourage anyone. Um, I say these things to warn, guys. I say these things to wake up the, the body of Christ, to to wake up the children of God of the, the time that we're in, guys, which 
anybody that has any ounce of discernment can see that we are in the end times and that so much prophecy is being fulfilled like every day more and more prophecy is just being fulfilled right in front of our eyes, guys. It is coming. Jesus is coming. He is coming for a spotless bride, guys. He is coming for a bride that has made herself ready. So, guys, I just pray that you would make yourself ready, and I pray that you would be a tree that's producing good fruit, and so the Lord can send those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, and they can eat from your branches, because He uses the prostitutes. He uses the fishermen, the ignorant fishermen. He uses... It just guys if he can use them he can use you and he is looking for faith he is looking for willing hearts anybody pick me lord and he will use you just ask the lord for his will to be done in your life ask him to send you people and he will so i just pray that this touches you guys i pray that this encourages you i pray that this encourages you to step out in boldness and in faith and to pray for one another guys lift each other up it's uh it's so easy to pray for somebody and it is the most powerful and loving thing that you can do for somebody so i, I pray that this uh this moves you to uh to be a tree that's producing good fruit and um that it can touch your hearts guys and that you can get out in that in your father's vineyard and in these last seconds and turn the last hearts to him and that you can go home because i believe with all of my heart that the Lord is coming for his bride and he's coming for a spotless bride. And it's not, it's not anything that you and I could ever do. We didn't earn this. We definitely don't deserve his grace. And that's, it's grace, guys. There's nothing you can do to earn it and nothing you can do to ever deserve it. We, we, uh, we were far, far from him until Jesus tore the veil and gave his life for us. So guys, um, I pray that you all have a blessed day. I pray that this encouraged you. Um, and I pray that you can you can go out and, and just uh, speak with boldness. Um, because the time is coming, guys. And he's, he's returning for his bride. And uh, I just pray that you make your hearts ready. I pray that uh, the Lord be with you. The Lord make his face shine upon you. And the Lord give you peace. All right, guys. Later.